Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Morgan. Today we are doing a disgusting, germ busting, deep clean, and organize my fridge with me. Seriously, this is just nasty, and yes, my leggings are on inside out. So if you want all of the hot mess mama motivation, I've got you covered. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, At Home with Morgan. Today I am doing a refrigerator clean out, like I said, and we're just gonna hop right into it. My fridge is disgusting, fair warning. It has been a few months since I cleaned it out, since like January. I usually do this once every few months. So without further ado, let's hop on into the refrigerator organization and cleaning. All right, so starting out the video, here is the before, it is a hot mess, just like I am. And yes, I am fully aware that my leggings are on inside out and I could have cropped that out and I chose not to because it seriously just represents who I am as a mama and who I am as a person. I'm a hot mess. So yes, I am a size large in the all in motion <laughs> leggings from Target. You're welcome. They're my favorite leggings, by the way. They like do not show anything, if you know what I mean when you bend over. All right, anyways, we're moving on from my leggings being inside out. My fridge is a hot mess. It has been only a few months since I cleaned it out. I did this at the beginning of the year in January. I do it once every few months, and I was shocked at how disgusting it got. I mean, it speaks for itself. There's like stuff stuck to the shelves. It is nasty. So first things first, we have to clear out the fridge. This is also a really great time to take out anything that is old, expired, moldy, nasty, gross. I always take this time to like go through all of the condiments as well. We are sauce junkies in my household. So I like to go through all of the condiments and throw out what is bad because we have a bad habit of opening stuff using it once or twice and then throwing it away. I am trying to be more earth friendly. All of this has been recycled, by the way. I'm trying to be more earth friendly. I'm gonna try and make some of my own sauces so that when I'm feeling like having a certain sauce, I can just whip it up and stay tuned and I will share all the recipes with you guys because I do have a bomb secret ranch recipe which I shared over on my other channel a while back but I will be sharing it again here with you guys, so good. Also, my favorite thing to use when I'm cleaning out the fridge is the new Dom Power Wash Spray. Not sponsored, I just absolutely love it. Makes it smell so good. I believe it's like the clean, like the fresh scent. It's the original, whatever, the normal scent. I have no idea, but it smells so good. I also like to use a water bleach combo. You will see me have a scrub brush and I also have um, a bowl of like water that I'm using. It actually has bleach in it. It's just diluted. Anyway, the easiest way, you can clean the shelves as they are in the fridge, but the easiest way is to actually take them out of the fridge and wash them in the sink. I know that this is no like real hack, but just in case you guys wanted to know the easiest way, that's the easiest way. Yes, my dishes need to be done, but we're not going to get into that. I had already done a full load of dishes. Seriously, this was one day's worth of dishes. And I put one load in this morning before I started cleaning the fridge and I still had a sink full of dishes. It's so hard when I'm doing meal prepping and I did this like literally the day after I meal prepped and I use so many dishes when I'm meal prepping. I don't know about you guys, but like, I am such a messy cooker and I use a bajillion different pots and pans and plates when I'm cooking. I need to get better at it, I'm, I'm working on it. But anyway, all right, so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the fridge clean out. Yes, it's freaking disgusting, but it's real life. This is my real life and this is how my fridge looked. So enjoy and I will pop back in in a little bit.
All right, so in this part of the video, this is where that bowl of bleach water comes in. I've not done the Tide bleach combo in here. I've just done like diluted bleach, but it works so well. And I hate to say this, but like there was like meat juice. I, God, it's, it's, Oh my gosh, it's so hard for me to say. It's like from defrosted meat, okay? The juices from that had like spilled underneath, just like the grossest, like collecting bacteria and all the grossness. So here's your reminder to clean out your fridge, you guys. Like I said, this was only three months and this is just nasty. So anyways, always use bleach when you're cleaning out your fridge or some kind of disinfectant just because you don't want things growing in your, oh, I can't even say it. You just, just clean out your fridge, guys learn from me do it more than once every three months like to it once a month it just like a wipe down a wipe down would be great because then it just it prevents all of the yuck from building up but I <laughs> there is a part coming up I know it's coming up and I will pop back in when that comes because I there's no explanation but enjoy <laughs> Here it is. Okay. No. Okay. This, how do things get under this drawer? Three months. I know I've said it a million times, but how? Okay. A pen. I found a pen and a packet of chicken bouillon concentrate underneath that drawer. How? How do all these crumbs get under? Is I'm, I'm really, I'm blown away. I really don't know what to say except I, I am so sorry. It's so disgusting, but enjoy because it is kind of satisfying to watch.
Alrighty, you guys. So here comes the long awaited moment. This is like my favorite part of cleaning out the fridge is reorganizing it. So I am putting all of the things back into the fridge. We get our eggs from a local farmer, which is why they look like that. They're so good. I mean, like these are f like free range. Is that what the cage free? You know what I mean? Like the, the free chickens. This is like somebody's backyard chickens that are like their pets and they just like make way too many eggs. So we take some of those eggs off of their hands and they're so good. There might be like a couple turkey and duck eggs in there, but we never really know the difference. Anyways, and then here I am doing my reusable applesauce packet hack. You guys, this is like the best mom life hack I've ever come by. I found these on Amazon. I was putting like $20 a week on those dang go-go squeezes. If you guys have kids that love applesauce, you know what I'm talking about. Even the Costco size ones. Oh my gosh, so much. Um, anyways, I've saved a ton of money. I just buy like a three pack of the Mott's applesauce from Sam's Club for like $6.98 and I refill those packets from Amazon and they work wonders. So like 10 bucks for a 12 pack, run, get them now. Also, don't ask me why we have so much cheese. I have no idea. I feel like I always put it on the grocery list, but we really never need to refill on it. So we have like three bags of shredded cheese now. So. It is what it is. I guess we're just gonna have a lot of cheese. I usually am pretty dairy free. If you guys don't know, I'm on a weight loss journey right now. I've lost 50 pounds and I've been fairly keto slash low carb since November. And I have taken the last month off of keto, but hopping back into it and I maintained what I was at. It felt really good just to take a month off and to focus on some mental health things, etc. Give the video a big thumbs up if you are into not just physical health, but mental health because mamas, the struggle is real. So also wanted to mention one of my most favorite things in my fridge is my cold brew coffee maker from Amazon. It is amazing and I started making my own cold brew instead of buying the Starbucks and like the Stoke or Stock or however you say it, cold brew because it saves me so much money. And actually the unsweetened has carbs in it. Even if it's unsweetened, it still has carbs in it. This way I can make sure that there's not carbohydrates in it and it's just coffee and wada. So anyways, also the Alani new energy drinks, next level. Next level, they're so good. The watermelon is probably my favorite or like the blue raspberry. But anyways, here is the final reveal of the fridge. It's so organized, it's so sparkly and clean and it looks so good. And it took me a really long time to get here, but let's just appreciate the sparkling and how clean everything looks. I definitely need to refill on vegetables. I'm looking a little bit low. The fridge is looking a little bit low in a lot of things actually. So anyways, that is the final reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed this disgusting deep clean with me. <laughs> All right, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this refrigerator organization video. It was disgusting. I am embarrassed. This is real mom life. This is my real life. This is really what my fridge looked like. I did not censor it at all. I'm sorry, it was disgusting. There it is. We'll be posting a part two to this video for the freezer, but as it is, this video is going to be super long because it took me so long to clean out the fridge and organize the fridge. So I will have a part two to this germ busting fridge and freezer series and get it under control before summer comes so we can enjoy a nice clean fridge for the summer months and filling it full of all of the yummy drinks and all of the good things and the snacks and stay tuned because I do have a ton of summer recipes coming out for you guys. Healthy, low carb, keto, regular, kid friendly, all of the things. Again, if you guys are new here, this is my new channel at home with Morgan. I do all of the home decor, all of the cleaning and the homemaking like I said earlier. And I'd love if you considered subscribing to my channel. If you like some of the Dana lifestyle stuff and like daily routines and morning routines and evening routines and all the baby things, head over to my personal channel. I'll have it linked up here for you guys. I'm so close to hitting 20K over on my personal channel and I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers on this channel, which I started back in February. 
and I just want to say thank you you guys for supporting me and my weird hippie boho vibe personality I don't know and as always if you guys enjoy my content share it over on your socials tag me on your Instagram stories leave the video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out and I will see you in a couple of days for a really fun disgusting video once again real life disgusting video okay 